You know what I kind of wish Call to Chaos did instead of instead of it giving like the crazy stuff like just like the the five cash outs it has. Mm -hmm. We got radiant item. Look at that. We did it. Um, oh but God, like the man. Call to Chaos, I kind of wish that it just like took a loot pool from from one of the from one of the uh, fortune cash outs. You know. Oh, that'd be nice. Golden Remover over encumbered. Only two bench slots. Do we go for that? Golden Remover, probably not super great this game. Do you think they fixed Pick of the Litter or should I not even risk it? Pick of the Litter was removed until it was fixed. Okay, I'm taking it then. So you can you can go for it, yeah. Over Encumbered is probably the right play for the next stage. I, I'm just down a few components early. Yeah, so let's let's do this. Let's go Over Encumbered. We'll sell these. We'll buy that. Um, it's definitely not roll for it, right? It's definitely not roll for it. Maybe it's you know what else it could be. That that's probably the play. Then we just go for redemption here, and then we just chill out, see what we can get. If maybe we can get any bit of um, kills whatsoever. Stall it out a little bit. But making the 10 Econ gives him a little bit of permanent HP. And we're already expecting to lose anyway because we have we have no bench space. We have no way to really like transition or anything. We can go the Arcanists. I was hoping to find a, an, an Exalted here. But I guess we go the Arcanists. Yeah. I, I mean, at least that means that we get some more some more kills, right? We get some more kills out of it. Darius doesn't wrap around. Good. This Lux is actually going to target the Ari, which is going to make it so that she doesn't. Nobody else takes damage from her. A little unfortunate there. Oh, man. I need to open a window or something. It is so hot in my room right now. T-Hex. Hello, hello. Is it T-Hex or is it Thex? Out with it. What do they call you? Well, what's with that augment you got? Thex, I got you. The augment is over encumbered. You only get two bench slots for the next stage, and then once we hit stage three, we'll get three item components. Three item components, big. Yeah, you see, it's just like my TFT brain goes instantly to T-Hex. It's barely spring for me. What's the temperature? It's just like, it's just my computer's really hot right now because um, also like, I think we, I think we have a fire on downstairs. So because of that. Computer's hot because I'm near it. Oh, Jumbo, thank you. I mean, that is harassment. Don't do that again. Let's go for the Aatrox. <laughs> Alright, let me open up this window. Window has been opened. It's also technically not spring, because in America we don't go by the. Uh, in America we don't go by the months. I'm pretty sure spring starts on like the 14th or the 18th or something like that. In that in that case, it's winter. Yeah. Which it should be cold. 
when does it, when does spring start spring 2024 march 19th that's when the spring equinox is You're in muggy, yucky, sweaty Australia. It's yuck. Yucky Australia is yucky? Is yuck? That, that doesn't track. Yucky things are yucky? <laughs> yuck equals yucky noted. Yeah, honestly, bi big, big. Big crazy stuff going on right now. Honestly, do we even go for the for the? Uh, I wanted to go exalted. I don't think I saw any exalted, or maybe I was just like completely not thinking about it. You got a Syndra at five. Yeah. Oh my lord. I think with this two star Aatrox though, this two star Aatrox makes me want to go Bruiser instead. And then if I lose this one, then I'll just sell one of these guys. This Kabuko's kind of scaling up like crazy, though. I don't think it's possible to to get um, hero augments on stage four, but we can still probably get it on stage two, three. They should really fix that. I really don't like that when Aatrox fizzles. When he when he fizzles his ability, he doesn't heal. He should really heal when he fizzles. Aatrox reroll at some point. See, that's the thing. It would be one thing if he actually did. Um, if he actually did AOE, which it seems like he should, because it looks like the last part of his Q from League. But he doesn't. It's not it's not AoE. Actually, does this no. I still have no I still only have two bench spots. Honestly, let me just wait until next round. And I feel like if he fizzles he should do his E dash from League. Okay. Sure, bud. Fizzling is a bad thing. We should we should uh we should just let fizzling be fizzling, but it should actually, like, it should feel okay. And you feel kind of cheated when he has all of his mana, and then he just never makes use of his mana. Alright, so Radiant Item isn't yet. We don't get it yet, but that's that's our, that's our three components. Do we go for Fortune here? No, probably not. We can go Dryad? No. What are our components? We definitely level for this. Honestly? We do this. Let's go Sunfire on him. Not my favorite. But then we can go Shoujin here. We have Bruisers there. We have this one here. We don't want to go Teemo. I mean, Teemo is pretty cool. I could try Teemo reroll. Could try Teemo reroll. I'm not going Bruiser though. Or I'm not going up. Uh, I am going Bruiser. I'm not going um what's the other thing called? Trick shot though. This guy's already got um some trick shot. Who's this? That guy? Okay. We could go the we could go the Kindred. Dryad isn't bad though, because yeah, Wreck is a bruiser. But I don't have I don't have uh Rex Ion too healthy. I mean, too healthy with Bruiser though. Can we make that work? We played we play we play Zyra, we play Janna. What are their what are the two costs are there that we can make work? We go Aatrox, Janna, Riven, Nico, Kindred. I feel like we can make it work. Let's do something fun. You know, go too healthy. 
Because honestly, like, if we just go Kindred and then we just start rolling at six, I feel like that's good enough. You know, we just play this guy for right now until we find our Rek'Sai. Because two healthy gives how much how much HP? 110, which then gets amplified by bruisers. Doesn't seem bad. Looks, I mean, like if you look at their health bars, they they seem intensely, intensely more um, more tanky. Like, it looks like it's so much more HP. Because it's 40% increase, too. So if I have... How many how many two costs do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4. So then that's 440, and then we increase that by 40 more percent. Which ends up being... 176. So that's like 6, 616. Quick maths. Silas, hello. Are there any Umbral 2 costs that I can play? Uh, I mean, there's Yorick, but that's not... I mean, I could play Shen and Yorick, and then we get Ghostly and Umbral. Honestly, wouldn't be mad about that. About that. Pretty down, honestly. This Silas is... Uh, big, though. Big fan. Big fan. I don't think we're going for Zyra, though. Right? Like, I don't think we need the Story Weaver. I think we're just going Kindred. Silas is doing the most damage right now, which is pretty cool. Are there actually, you know what I can do? Instead of doing this, you know what I, you know what I actually do? Let me snapshot real quick. I'll confirm this, and then we'll play. Um, instead of going for Yorick, we go for um, we go for Kane or not Kane, Yone, Yone, and then that activates Umbral and Reaper. Champion Duplicator, it's a full dupe though. Ooh, actually, if I get Silas, if I get Silas, that's just a two-star Silas on stage three. I'm probably not getting it. Third pick, yeah, no, it's not happening. We go for the rod. Never mind. We go for this. Oh my god. We go for the bruiser. <laughs> uh, Hodge you isn't bad, though. There, bud. I wasn't indecisive. I just kept getting... It was not good. It was not good, okay? I don't think that we actually have any room for Janna though. So I think that I think that we honestly dip it, that that we ditch it. But what what do we need sniper for? We don't need sniper for anything. So I mean Ash is here, but like why would we run her? You know? Why? There's no point. That's why. That's why. Sure. Okay. New plan. New plan. <laughs> we need, uh, we need, where, where's, where's Porcelain? Where's Porcelain? We need to play Lux, I guess. I don't know anymore, man. This this game is completely just. How do you have an ash two at six? Uh, because I I found two ashes and I had a dupe. Oh my god. I I don't I, I don't I don't know why. I don't understand it, but we're here for it and I'm happy about it. Yeah 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 whatever. Would a move be better for Warden over an additional two cost? I don't have any Wardens, though. Like, I'm actually, I'm dropping this Gnar now that I'm not playing it. I'm just playing Snipers instead. You know? Like, I don't need this Gnar anymore. Now I play a Lux. Now I play a Lux instead. And honestly, like, I'm, I'm just... 
Ripnar. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking. I need some attack speed for this Ash. Shojin's not good on her. It's okay, but you, you need you need attack speed. Why do I keep thinking Kindred is sniper? Because you're stinky. That's why. That's why. I forgot we had this. It's a radiant item. Runin's Tempest on this girl? Hell yeah, man. Honestly, we're, we're not running this Gnar. We're not running this Gnar. Let's just, let's just ditch it before it starts, before it starts, um, baiting me. Runin's is disgusting on her. You are right. You certainly are right. There's Ink Shadow there. What's my Ink Shadow? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Tattoo of Protection? Kind of big. Find an Ink Shadow? That's a pretty good Ink Shadow. And then we get Tattoo of Protection. That on Kabuko. Pretty okay with what's happening here. Yeah, two cost sniper. That's true. That's that's actually that's that's a great reason to run her too. Let's let's snapshot this because I think that that's better. We're running three two costs right now. This guy's got a two star Kaisa, a little bit better than what I got at the moment. Bruiser crest. What do we make? What do we do with that? Where do we go? Support cash. Honestly, I feel like big grab bag is just so much better right here. Cause I I really need some items. I really need some some good items. We still don't have any bows. Literally no no natural bows. Which means we're super luck. We're we're super likely to find the bows. Reforge and, pay and pray for Ginsu's? Nah, bro. Hey, off the top of your head, do you know what it sets beta bonuses? I believe it's um, damage reduction. Okay. Okay, so I have the even shroud now, which is which is better. You're right. Actually, somebody in my chat just just corrected me. It's Omnivamp. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think I remember saying. Yeah, it's that. Omnivamp. Okay. Once they said it, I was like, "You're right." What's that? Din Din Television? Hello. Thank you for the raid. That's a that's a pretty cool raid, pretty big raid. I appreciate you. What were you streaming? What were you doing? A little bit of TFT? Stream is going really well actually. Just did a few double games on PB. Yeah, I, I love me some double up games. See, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> Aurelia could be the right play, though. We just go Ink Shadow Duelist instead. But the the two star Ash is almost definitely better. We we definitely would lose the Shojin, though. You know. But we already have the the Even Shroud as well, so like I don't even know. Where's the Rage Blade from? It's from the encounter. 
Kendra just gave me a, the choice of a Warmox or, or a Rage Blade. Thank you so much for the raid, though. I really appreciate that. We need the bow. We need, 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 need the bow. No! I guess it's Gunblade. We could go Gunblade, especially if we end up transitioning into Aurelia instead. We could also play Sage with that, right? Excuse me? Okay, that just happened. Sure. Happy about it. Okay. All right. Sure, sure, sure. How does Aurelia work with Runins? Um, I'm I'm looking. I'm, I'm trying to find the bolts. Honestly, it. I can't even see her. I can't even see, wait. Her stuff disappeared. Kind of, maybe a little bit. Once she once she cast her her thing disappeared. Her her blades went to another arena, yeah, and then she just wasn't dealing damage. Okay, cool. Oh, Kabuko is also at like eight hundred HP, by the way, from this. But I have four turns until a guaranteed Aurelia 2. Of course that's still a bug, yeah. Honestly, I, maybe maybe it's going to be a little bit more likely if I... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe we can get another Story Weaver in. Story Weaver Bruiser. Yeah, that's the play. We plop him in, and then we get, uh, then we get Story Weaver. We can give her a little bit of attack speed that way. How many am I even running? Three? That's actually... You know what? Three is pretty good value. I'll take that. That's pretty good value. Yeah, it is working. You see, like, every... So every so often, it's basically she has this interval. Is Zyra another two cost? Yeah, but we, we're playing bruisers, so we might as well just, like, drop the Silas for a Galio. You know? Because we're not we're not running five story weaver. Five story weaver has has no uh, has no value in this comp, and we're definitely not dropping Kabuko at this point. I mean, eight hundred extra HP. For sure, it's not drop him. And then we'll just run another two cost. What two costs do we still need? Um. Eh, it's probably not even run at two cost. There's my Galio. Talisman of speed. Great. Actually, it's this. We want to buy that, sell that. We could get Ghostly in, too. That wouldn't be a bad thing. We definitely want to level on that, though. Level on that. Put in this for right now. Because why not? Uh, we want to TG here. And then we need... Got a glove? Okay, so it's Quicksilver. Okay. Alright, we found it. It's almost as good as Ginsu's. It's almost as good. It gives her a little bit of crit, which is always great, too. I love the look of just, like, the swirly blades on one target. 
Then we can play another duelist at level 10. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't I didn't play that. Gotcha. What did I put in? Oh, I put in another I didn't even put in anything. Silly me. Oh, we can do altruist. Altruist. Um yeah, that works. The Rakan is, is really good here. Uh, that that uh, little bit of resistances that you get from Altruist is huge on this team. Absolutely massive. I don't think... Well, we're not playing Sages, so we can't do that. But we could play Lee Sin. We could play Lee Sin and Kiana next level. Instead of the uh, Altruist. Four Duelist might be more worth, especially if I can two-star my Aurelia. Bam. Wait, that's a Titan's Vow Cane. Look at that thing. It's going. The Ghostly, though. The Ghostly almost did it. Almost did it. Oh, I should have actually... I should have also removed the uh, Shroud... The Even Shroud from him. What was Hoi's healing this round? 2300. Causes XP to cost 3 gold instead of 4 for the next 3 rounds. Evolve. You don't say... You don't say. Well, we're gonna be getting our Aurelia next round. And honestly, that means that we could take out the Hui. We could take out the Hui, so then we can play two Bruiser Walt without dropping the Dragon Lord, and then we can get Dragon Lord. And then we'll just play We'll just play the Shojin on Srikan. Yeah. That's our play. That's our play. Go ten add two duelist. Yes. Drop the Hui, not the Rakan. But I can't do it yet. Even though it's less expensive, the, I can't uh, do it. Three gold to level encounter after I just level the nine and don't have gold. Yeah. Luckily, I'm I'm about to go ten next round. But yeah, I got you. Let me actually let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Are we good here? We might be okay here. Hit the back line. Go! Oh my god, no! Oh, it didn't work. That Amumu kinda kinda popped off. We don't want to play the Udir. The Udir is actually worse than the Senna in this instance. We don't want to play the Story Weaver here. We don't have any wardens. We can go Altruist though. Altruist. Wonderful. Now we have Altruist 3 out of nowhere. Then we can put that on... Who else does damage? Probably Lee Sin's going to be doing damage. So I have my 2-star Aurelia. I can sell this guy now. We can go 10. We can put in our 2 duelists. And then we can do... Shojin Rakan. Yeah. And then who do we make a, 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 an altruist? Who else does damage on this team? Kabuko? Kabuko does the damage, but it's uh, Senna, I guess. Senna buffs AD for those next to her. Shouldn't Aurelia be next to her? Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about that. I wasn't really thinking about that. It's, n it's not a unit that I play very often. Also, hey, Celestial. Yeah, congrats on getting your gift sub. Courtesy of Mr. Connor. No more ads for you. At least for a month. Alright, so there's our snapshot. That's everything we're playing. We end up having four two costs. And that was actually that was a pretty good build for, for two healthy. Pretty good build for two healthy. Very happy about it. So we actually, I guess we want to play Senna like this. We'll play Senna, give her the give her the AD from it. 
The Spear of Hirana is so sad. The Spear of Hirana is so sad. I know, it was my only good option. Like, I was hoping to get, like, something that shredded. My options yeah. were, my options were, I was going AP, my options were Radiant IE, Radiant Deathblade, Radiant Titans, Radiant uh, Edge of Night, or this. So, if you end up winning this fight, it's because my Aurelia's blades went to another board. Oh, I love that. So video. she, so she just stopped doing. She just stopped doing damage for a little while. I love that for you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. Yeah. But Hopefully no, that doesn't happen in one v ones. It was the only AP item I had, so I was like, I, I have to take this. I can't take anything else. Yeah, I got you. She actually stops Radiant doing damage though? until the fight on the other board ends? That's crazy. Yeah, that's the thing, is that Aurelia is just such a pacifist. She wants to... She, she doesn't want to fight the actual enemy. We want a recon item here. Hodge? Not really. Bloodthirster, actually. I mean, he does, he does a good amount of damage, right? No, not really. Bramble? Maybe it's Bloodthirster for Lee Sin. Yeah, it's probably Bloodthirster for Lee Sin. She's either the best or the worst five cost because of the blades. True. <laughs> Big facts. Alright, Aurelia's blades, please stay on this board. Oh wait. Did they go away? No, they didn't. Okay. Lee Sin's doing stuff now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nice. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Unfortunate Zach just died. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But that means that the Aurelia's blades won't go anywhere else, right? <laughs> there, there's nowhere else to go. I need a two-star Recon. Anything that he's trying to go for? Azir's? Nah, not really. On the bright side, now that I'm dead, your Aurelia's plates have nowhere to go, but you're on board. That's what I was saying. <laughs> that's, that's what I was saying, man. Now you had two reasons to wish I died. So we can queue up faster, and so your Aurelia isn't bugged. True true this 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 game though um it, it was okay that you lasted this long so that we didn't so because you know we we're not really requeuing right now i don't know why but we're not re we're not requeuing right now mm, i can't imagine why no me neither me neither unless this guy ffs which honestly i only gave him 17 damage that 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 time interesting I saw Ooh, a guy a couple games ago before you could hop on and play with me that put a Shojin on Aurelia and I was like, that should have popped off. Why didn't it pop off? Because you can't put Shojin um, and Blue Bluff on units that don't have mana. You can put Shojin on, on, a, on a unit that has no mana. Really? Because I remember last set, uh, it, always, it used to always pop off my... Um, oh god, what's his name? Olaf. Shojin? No, blue buff. Blue buff? Yeah, no. I know that Shojin. I'm pretty sure that you can put Shojin on it just because Shojin has, um, I mean, has, stats. like, has the stats, which blue buff has the stats now too, but I think that that's just, like, but an I archaic probably, thing from I, when it I, wasn't. I, 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 think it, I think it's probably because it's passive, you know, making the mana cost less. It doesn't have mana. It yeah. Can't that's, prob that's, that's probably what it is. Are we okay oh, here? Oh. Oh, no. We're not. That was close, though. <coughs> oh, there's my forces that I needed. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, do I take the Aurelia? <laughs> 
Anything that you took redemption is so steadfast. He was hovering the steadfast the entire time. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, literally the entire time. Now, do you ever put the redemption on the back line to help keep your Aurelia alive and give her damage reduction? Because you already have two in the front line for this fight. You know? You know? Sometimes the brain just brains. Mm -hmm. I used to do that all the time during uh, the Hacker Man meta. Yeah. Just to keep my back line safe, give him some passive healing and damage reduction. I need a two star Galio as well. I think that would be such a big upgrade. Yeah, it would, it would boost your Kale's damage and AP as well. I think you win this fight handedly. I do, though. The set's dead, so it doesn't get to your back line anymore. My god, Lissandra is such a trash unit. Bro, you're in second place. Calm down. Okay, that's big. Okay. Maybe you're just trash at building her, you ever think of that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh right, you are the best. Oh no. Oh no. Isn't it a one star list? No, it's not. It's a, it's a two star. He built her RFP, which I think is not the way to build her. I think because she's so like far up in the front row, she needs some kind of tank stat to live. I mean, when you already have like another damage carry, probably. Yeah. Because like mainly, you, but I you're win not, this one. You're not really playing her. Outro. All right, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.